This week on The Breakdown, we're going to be looking at how our members led to a huge victory in Northern California, supporting gun shows in Solano County. Yeah, and this is the this is the kind of thing that really motivates in the long run, right? Because you work Um, you work so hard and so long, sometimes seemingly to no avail, but this is, um, kind of a clear cut instance where you literally had fair board members saying that their mind was changed. And you literally had fair board members saying that while their mind might not have been changed, they need to follow what the people want. So, uh, this is definitely a a good and energizing win for us here. So let's go through it. Yeah. So. You know, on the breakdown, what happens is we'll get uh, advanced notice and we're going to talk to one of our allies here in a couple of minutes on this show who gave us that advanced notice and said, hey, this is coming up for you. And uh, Kevin was able to do a, an outstanding job, Kevin. I mean, kudos to you and your team here at CRPA who went out and got our volunteers and our members in the local Solano County area mobilized literally in less than a day to just impact a meeting. And I think this goes to a lot of of you out there that sit on the fence and go, well, can I really make a difference? Do I really count? And I think with resounding, uh, yeah, you count was proven in this. Yeah, big time. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, CRPA has its part to play. Um, It's actually kind of one of the misconceptions that you find uh, in, in certain areas of the state. Um, this is this is not about one person, one organization. Mm-hmm. This is about the collective groups of people coming together and letting those who govern them know um, how they want to live. And that's exactly what happened here. So uh, in all seriousness, kudos goes out to all of those people that showed up on the call and participated in local government. That's and like I said earlier, that's what really gets me excited is. Uh, when people actually turn out to let their government know how they feel. So let's go to our our buddy Joe, who was the first one to give us the the heads up. So Joe, how was it that you first heard that, well, everybody should come to a meeting to save the gun shows in Solano County? I first heard about it through CRPA. Wow. (laughs) So we let them know. Plain plain and simple. Um, I I mean, I'm also kind of curious, uh, just being... Uh, in the position that you are up there, uh, what does it mean to really see people rally around something like this? I'm, I'm sure to a certain extent, you know, you, you're you aware. I mean, if you're paying attention to CRPA anyways, you're aware uh, of the legislation that's coming down. You're aware that fair boards are under attack. Um, how does it feel to kind of be a part of the area that ends up winning? Uh, it's very prideful. You know, um, what people don't realize is gun shows more about than just selling guns Um, people come there to get information on safe handling and more training um, learning what they can do to help their children understand about firearms and whatnot and then you know i know joe you contacted me a couple days afterwards and uh what was the take because i understood you were at the gun show there the, the following weekend what was the mood of the people there at the gun show they're happy. Um, they're excited to see the gun shows staying. They actually, the um, Co the West actually has the next gun show already planned coming up in a few weeks, and they're working on getting the rest of the year scheduled. It was a great turnout. The, the gun show people were happy, and it was great to see everybody's faces. So down here, we have uh, obviously fought and been wrestling with uh, Senator David Min out of Orange County, who has tried uh, to get rid of gun shows across the state through some legislation, was successful in in blocking the shows here in Orange County, which we're going to litigate. But would you say that the gun show being present in your county makes the general populace safer or less safe? Uh, Definitely safer. Um, All I do when I go to the gun shows, I talk to people about, you know, CCWs and training. You know, there's a lot of discussion about training and answering questions that people didn't quite understand what, like, where they can and cannot go with a farm, how to transport it safely. Um, it's a lot safer. It's people get to understand about training and the different styles of training and the different training topics out there so they get a better overall picture of what's available. 
you know, this last couple of years has been record gun sales and a lot of it was in California. And people are coming to gun shows to get this information because they don't know where else to go. Right. And I'm just kind of curious with those record gun sales and, and being as plugged into the community as you are, um, is is political activism like this something that you kind of get the vibe is here to stay? Uh, or is this or is this maybe feeling like they just kind of struck a nerve for this one? No, I think the activism is here to stay. I mean, a lot of these people that I've talked to over this last weekend are first time gun owners. They didn't know that there was this much more involved to it. They thought it's just I buy a gun and that's it. It's, there's a lot to it and they understand that now. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, uh, that is Joe Pinder, who is with the Solano County Sheriff's CCW uh, Department. Done a lot of great work over there. So, Joe, uh, thank you very much for being on. We appreciate your time. Yeah, so, Rick, I uh, I actually wanted to unpack that a little bit because I think that Joe hit on something that I've been encountering a lot, and that is, um, first of all, you know, this is huge. The, the political activism here worked. Uh, this is a fair board that voted, what was it, six to one mm -hmm. to ban this gun show in Solano County. Uh, CRPA uh, stepped in and, and we did what we do. We filed mm -hmm. a letter uh, with the fair board saying, hey, actually, you kind of unlawfully passed this. Right. Um, uh, this is due to the Brown Act. And Jacob, if you can just put the Brown Act up there really quick for people uh, to see, basically the Brown Act ensures Californians uh, the right to participate in their local government. That's, I, I mean... Yeah, Ralph in, M. Brown came out with that act a couple decades ago, and that's who it's named after, and the whole idea behind it was to stop local governments from being able to hoodwink their citizens. Right, which is, uh, I mean, kind of what happened here. You know, you have the, the COVID excuse and the technology wasn't working, people were not able to participate, and uh, CRPA ended up filing a letter with the fair board saying, hey, you can't do that. And they scheduled this special meeting where it was just overwhelmed with people calling in, using their right to speak at local government. Um, and they were all telling the, the fair board that they wanted the gun show to stay. So but I think we need to, to go back even further at the very beginning of the opening. One of the things that I want to unpack is a point that you made so clearly, but like a lot of things, people miss it. And that was when you said, you know, Several of the four board members were like, oh, OK, yeah, that's the side I didn't think about. Sure, I'll change my vote. But there was a member of the board who was very, very clear of like, hey, you didn't change my mind. But I understand basically what she was saying was I also understand there's a ton of votes represent here that could mean the end of my political career. So you know what? Even though I disagree, I'm going to I'm going to do my job which is admirable, and I'm going to vote on behalf of the people I represent. And that is the very thing that you and I have been talking about for months now. Uh, politicians, we don't work for them. They work for us. And that was a woman who was being honest and showed a great deal of integrity to say, yeah, I work for the people of this county. And since they said this is what they want, it doesn't matter what I believe, that's what I'm going to fight for. And not to mention just the root of the argument is effective. And <clears throat> Excuse me. That was the other that was the other thing that uh, Joe touched on that I wanted to bring up is that we have all of these new gun owners um, and they are impressionable. Mm -hmm. And let's be extremely honest here. Even people who aren't gun owners who might find themselves right now on the opposite side of this argument, they can also be impressionable. Mm -hmm. uh, and what it comes down to is getting the information out there um, and and. Uh, force multiplying that way. You know, we have a great core of people, even just like on this uh, board meeting, who I'm sure could very easily make the intellectual arguments in just in their own circles. Oh, and, and I think when you listen to what they had said, <laughs> it was very educationally oriented. There was no name calling or anything. People were were very even keeled and just educated several of those members of that fair board of like, no, this is what actually goes on. This is how it goes on. This is what it's about. Answer questions. And we won. We just got to get people doing that statewide. You know, there's lots of positives and negatives in the California legislature, but you know what's always positive? A like on this video. So be sure and like, share, and subscribe. Make sure and hit that little bell. 
uh, so that you can stay tuned for all of our future videos. You can also check us out on Facebook and at CRPA.org. If you're looking for up-to-date legislature notes and things that are going on in the courts, the website and these videos are a great place to find it. So be sure and follow us, and we'll see you next time.